The Soundcore A20i are aiming directly at the budget market, but do they bring enough value to the market to compete with the best under 30? Let's find out. So first, let's talk about the Bluetooth connection. So the Soundcore A20i are featuring Bluetooth 5.3 and they use AAC and SBC as their connection codecs. Now they are fully compatible with both iOS and Android devices. Um, and I made sure of this by pairing them with both my iPhone 14 Pro Max and my Google 7 Pro. So there's no issues with, uh, with either of those, the Pixel or the iPhone, no problem whatsoever. Now, let me get this piece out of the way. So the uh, <laughs> the A20i's here, the Bluetooth range on these, basically, you know, when you have them in your ears and you walk away from your phone, I managed to get right around 39 feet or about 11.8 meters. Now, these are also featuring single usage mode, and that's where you can use each of these earbuds individually while the other one is charging in its case. So you do have that functionality right here. Now, sadly, we're not gonna find multi-point connectivity or anything like that. This is, once again, a $30 set of earbuds, so we're not gonna have some of those advanced features. Totally understand for this price point. But let's go ahead and move over to watching videos and uh, latency. So, you know, whether you're watching YouTube videos or your shows on Netflix, there is little to no lag to be experienced here. So no problems whatsoever. Now, when it comes to mobile gaming, the Soundcore A20i also feature a low latency gaming mode that can noticeably reduce any sort of latency when it comes to playing games like Call of Duty Mobile or Genshin Impact. Now, this is a feature that I love to see at such a low price point. I really wasn't expecting it. I was like, oh, low latency mode, say word. So, you know, if you need a low price set of uh, gaming earbuds for your mobile gaming, then the Soundcore A20i are a solid choice. So yeah, now that's gonna bring us over to one of the most important questions that I ever get asked about earbuds, and that's whether or not they are comfortable. So let me go ahead and bring these up here real quick. Let me go ahead and pull them out of the case. So the shape here is very similar to what we get with the Soundcore uh, Space A40, except these are a little bit thicker. So they do stick out of your ear a little bit more, but overall for my, per, you know, for my own ears, the Soundcore A20i fit perfectly. No discomfort or ear fatigue at all after hours of usage. However, user experience may vary since all of our ears are shaped differently. So just throwing that out there. Now, let me go ahead and put them in my ears. This way you can see what they actually look like in my ears. So let's do that. All right, so we'll go the right one here and the left one there. All right, here we go. So despite the fact that they stick out a little bit, they're, they're still pretty low profile, so no problems whatsoever. But yeah, let me go ahead and take them out. There we go, put my headphones back on. But yeah, and then that's gonna bring us over to talking about grip. Now grip, what I mean by that is a question that people a lot of, you know, will come into my comment section and they'll ask me like, hey, are these earbuds good for sports, good for workouts, you know, good for the gym, stuff like that. So far for me, grip has been good, but obviously this is going to depend on which ear tips um, and obviously your own ear shape. Now for me, they haven't slipped out of my ears during my walks, no need to readjust uh, during my stretches. So, so far it's been excellent. Now Soundcore, they did include three sets of ear tips in the box, which are okay. I mean, they're decent ear Ear tips for 30 bucks. I went ahead and swapped mine out for a set of these CP360s from SpinFit. Um, these definitely seal a lot better. They have more grip. So if you're interested in these, I will leave a link to them in the video description down below. Now, these, these Soundcore um, A20i, they also feature an IPX5 water and sweat resistance rating. So no issues if you can get them wet or a little bit of sweat or, you know, water gets splashed on them, not gonna be a problem, but I would probably refrain from, you know, going swimming or fully submerging. I probably wouldn't do that. So just be careful with that. And then last but not least, um, sleep. You know, can these be used for sleep? Now, this is another one where user experience is gonna vary. It's just really gonna depend on your own ear shape and how they fit your ears. For me, these are a no-go for side sleep because they do push in a little bit on my ear and it was a little uncomfortable for me, but for back sleep, not a problem whatsoever. So just wanted to make that very clear, but overall, pretty good, you know, overall. So yeah, and then that's gonna bring us over to the controls on the Soundcore A20i. So these are featuring responsive touch controls and they're easy to use, especially when you uh, once you get accustomed to what the controls do and the different functions. They do support a, a single tap, double tap, and a long press. You get play, pause, skip track, answer and calls, as well as volume control. So you do have that on board as well. And these controls are customizable via the Soundcore app. So let me go ahead and show you the, the control layout here, just in case you don't see 
this anywhere else. You can pause it here. You can take a screenshot, but that is the control scheme that comes with the uh, instruction manual for the Soundcore A20i. So just wanted to make sure that you, you were able to see that. So you never know. Sometimes people need that. Uh, the last time that I showed that manual, somebody came into my comment section and was very thankful that I showed the control scheme. So, hey, whatever works for you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's that takes us from there. So now let's move over to the app support. Now, this is something that I was not expecting to see on a budget set of earbuds from Soundcore because normally Soundcore has reserved their app support for earbuds that were um, usually above $50. So usually anything from like 60 all the way up to their flagship, um, Liberty 3 Pro, Liberty 4, but anything below that, they didn't get app support. Well, these actually do have app support. A little limited, but still, you know, we want to give them kudos for that. So let's take it to the top down. We've got my trusty Pixel 7 Pro. Let's go ahead and pull the earbuds out of the case here. Let's do that. All right. Uh, let's turn Bluetooth on. Bluetooth is on. Let's go here to Soundcore. There we go. Give them a sec here. Let's see here, go to settings. Oh, you know what it is? They're pairing up with uh, with my uh, iPad. And since these don't have multi-point, they can only pair with one device at a time. There we go. All right, now we got it. Now we're working. <laughs> That's my mistake. All right, so let's go back out of here. Uh, there we are. All right, there we go. Now we're connected. <laughs> That's my mistake, obviously. So retrial is there one more time. What is what is happening here? So we're doing this live. I want, want to make sure you guys see this. But man, what is happening? This was working perfectly a, a couple minutes ago. So I don't know why all of a sudden it doesn't want to work. <laughs> that is so strange. Oh, you know what it is? My bad. My my mistake here. Uh, where is it at? They're connecting to um, to the Soundcore app on my iPad. I think that's what's going on here. And that happens too. So sometimes if you're if you're running devices like multipoint and you have the apps on both devices, sometimes it won't want to pair to one because it's paired to the app on a different device. So just throwing that out there, that could be exactly what's going on here. But yeah, let's see here. Yeah. Give me just a sec here while I'm trying to do the do the figuring out of what's going on with this app live here. Okay, for a stop. There we go. All right, let's try it one more time here. Bring it one more time. So Let's see if it'll do it now. Oh, it still won't connect. Wow. All right. Well, that's that's a little embarrassing. <laughs> so it does actually work. So that's that's really what's kind of messed up about this is the fact that I can't get it to work here um, because it was just working just a couple minutes ago. So I'm not sure why it's choosing to not work this time. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on there. Let's see. Let's, I'm gonna try it one more time and hope it works. Let's see. All right, let's see here. Boom. All right. No, oh, this is this is oddly odd that it won't that they just don't want to connect after they were just connecting totally fine. That is so strange, huh? All right. Yeah, that's a that's really kind of tripping me out because usually I don't have an issue with this, so. Let me try one more time here. I'm going to try something else. Mm, let's see. I'm going to try it over here. So, yeah, this is the fun part about doing this. Because usually this is not an issue. So, like, you know, this isn't this is completely abnormal stuff that's happening here. I'm like, why, why wouldn't these pair up? Like, usually it's a non-issue. So, let's try it one more time here. There we go. Well, I got it to pair with the iPad. So let's bring the iPad into play here. Let's bring bring it out of here. All right. So we're going to do it like this. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Zoom out a little bit there so you can, guys can kind of see it. So here they are. The Soundcore Life A20. Good Lord. <laughs> I had to do it on iOS to make sure that it actually works. But here is the app right here. So you open up the app. You're going to see your battery life right there. Obviously, you go in here. You're going to see your EQ. Now, we do have the 22 presets here. Uh, my favorite out of these are going to be the acoustic and uh, piano right here. Those are my favorites. And you also have Soundcore Signature, and you can do the bass up. Now, with the A20i, we don't have the uh, the ability to do a full custom EQ. We only get the presets. So now, I'm not complaining. I'm just making this very clear. I'm not complaining about that. 
it's still cool to see the 22 presets here. It's more than what we've gotten before. Some of their other uh, previous budget earbuds only got like three presets that were built into the earbuds. So the fact that we have the full 22 here, that's that's a big step up in my opinion. So back now to here, that's your EQ. Then you have your controls. This is where you get into your control customization. This is where you go left or right. So either or. You get single tap, you have all the different commands and you can actually uh, hit none. So if you wanna turn off the single tap in case you're getting some accidental touches, you do have the ability to do that. So you do have that option there. Then you have the find, uh, find my device. This will play a loud sound from the earbuds in case you do lose them. I really strongly recommend don't have them in your ears, just like it says here when you do this, um, but just throwing that out there, you do have that option. And then lastly, we have the gaming mode here and that's your toggle for the gaming mode. Now we go up here to the gear, and this is where you have your model name, firmware version, serial number, and then update firmware in case that there's like a firmware update for these earbuds. Now, these are like super, super new. So there isn't any um, firmware updates that I've seen so far. So just throwing that out there, but there, there isn't anything there at this time. But once again, and I'll, I've said this before and, I, and I'll say this again, to be very clear, you don't have to download the app um, to, to be able to use these earbuds. You know, this is the app just lets you take more control over them, customizing controls, doing the EQ presets. So you can use it, but you don't have to use it, assuming it's working for you, unlike what it was doing for me here, as you just saw. So just throwing that out there, we're keeping it real here. So now let's get into the actual performance of the Soundcore Life A20i. And first we're gonna start with the battery life. So that's where we're gonna start here next. So. Let's go there. Now, let me zoom this back in because I have to pull all the way out. There we go. Pause, pull all the way out. Um, so let's do that. Uh, Soundcore, they were claiming up to nine hours of playback time on a single charge with an additional 19 hours in the charging case for a total of 28 hours. Now, these are usually best case scenarios. So I went ahead and tested these claims for myself. Now, in my own testing, I managed to get eight hours and 24 minutes. That's using the AAC codec at 75% volume. Now, eight hours and 24 minutes, that is outstanding battery life in my personal opinion, especially for a set of earbuds that come in at such a low price. So kudos to Soundcore for making that happen. So, um, and then moving on from there, these also feature fast charging. So if you ever drain these earbuds out all the way, um, you do have fast charging here where you could drop them back into the case for 10 minutes and they'll give you an additional two hours worth of playback time. Now we don't have any wireless charging on these earbuds, but you can charge them right here via USB-C. So they've got you covered there. So yeah, battery life on these is excellent. Um, like I said, especially for something at such a low price. Now these earbuds don't have active noise cancellation or transparency mode. So we're just gonna skip right past that. Um, but let's move into sound and volume. So first let's start with the volume volume of the Soundcore uh, A20i. So as far as volume is concerned, I managed to get 117.6 decibels of peak volume. And that qualifies the A20i as dummy loud. That's 117.6 decibels. Now for me, comfortable listening comes in around 50 to 65% as usual. Um, but these are going to be more than loud enough for 95% of people out there. Now, if these still aren't loud enough for you, then you might need to see a doctor about that. I'm just saying, um, because these earbuds get seriously loud. And if you want to pull a little more volume out of them, try that piano EQ, uh, piano EQ preset. It definitely bumps up the treble and gives you a bit more perceived volume. So worth a shot if you feel like these aren't loud enough. So now, um, if you're getting any value from this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button for me. It's free for you and it helps the channel greatly. We're on a road to 100,000 subscribers. So I really, really, truly would appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, break down the sound. Give me just a sec here, I'm trying to readjust this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the sound of the Soundcore A20i. So let's start with the bass. And for the A20i, we've got some strong sub bass extension here that you can feel. They have that punchy, hard hitting bass with the right songs. Good enough to satisfy bass heads, just like my guy Howl at your boy that we've got here in the chat. So he's a real bass head and these things will definitely satisfy his taste. Now, one of the test tracks that I used was Doing That by Clyde Carson. Now, this is another Bay Area banger that needs to be added to your bass head playlist. You gotta do that, it's called Doing That by Clyde Carson. Now let's move over to the mid range on the A20i. Now the mids are further back in the mix than I personally like with the factory EQ. It almost sounds downright 
um, muffled almost right out of the box. Now, using I use the acoustic EQ or the piano EQ to bring out the vocals in my favorite R&B tracks. With the acoustic EQ, the mids are moved forward and you get a much more balanced sound. Now the piano EQ gives you more clarity with a noticeable bump in the treble and a reduction in bass, but I do have to warn you about that piano EQ that this, this EQ might be a little too bright in the treble um, for some of you, so definitely be careful with that one. Um, if that one's a little too bright, try the acoustic. That one is the is has a really good balance in the sound at least in my personal opinion so let's move over to the treble and as far as treble is concerned with the a20i this is the treble is probably the weakest point in the sound for these earbuds thankfully the acoustic and piano eq um, save these earbuds when it comes to sound with the acoustic preset you get just the right amount of treble to balance out the strong bass and response it gives you good detail and even a hint of soundstage with some live recordings now one of the test tracks that I used for this was I Love You More Than You'll Ever Know by Donny Hathaway. Now, this track has some of the most emotional instrumentation that I've ever heard, both strings and horns. And you combine that with Donny's voice and the lyrics, it's, it's simultaneously beautiful and heartbreaking at the same time. Now, I know when I'm quoting a Donny Hathaway song, some of the younger people in the audience are going to be like, who? You need to look that up. It's on Apple Music, Spotify. It's on all the services. I Love You More Than You'll Ever Know by Donny Hathaway. You definitely got to check that out. Now, as far as like my overall thoughts on the sound, the sound quality here for a set of earbuds coming at 30 bucks is pretty good, to be completely honest, especially if you like your bass all up in your face. For 30 bucks, it's really tough to go wrong here. Now, if I have to give sound corny constructive criticism on these, I really don't have any to give them. For coming in at this price and providing the value that they offer, I really can't give them more than just maybe improving the factory EQ tuning out of the box. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. The A20i, they nail all the basics as a set of budget earbuds should in 2023. You got strong bass, long battery, easy controls, comfortable fit, good connection, and a gaming mode. You then add in the Soundcore app support for customizability and you have a winning formula. Now, one of the questions that I know is gonna come up inevitably is how, how you know, the A20, Soundcore A20i versus the Soundpeats Free 2 Classic, right? My current king's under 30 bucks. So the Soundpeats Free 2 Classic, I uh, actually do have them right here so I can actually bring them up on, on screen. So here's the here's the Soundpeats Free 2 Classics. Here are the... Uh, the A20Is. So the Soundpiece Free 2 Classic, they will still win over the A20i when it comes to sound quality right out of the box. Uh, you know, with EQ, the A20i can compete if you like a bass heavy sound. But if your sound preference is much more well balanced, then the Soundpiece Free 2 Classic are still going to be my top choice under $30. So now let's go ahead and get into some microphone samples for those who like to take phone calls with their earbuds. I'll be doing both quiet and crowd noise tests on both the Soundcore A20i and the Soundpiece Free 2 Classics so you can hear how they perform under different conditions. All right, so here we have the microphone test for the Soundcore A20i. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone test for the Soundpeats Free 2 Classic. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, once again, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Soundport A20i in a simulated crowd noise environment. So, something like a busy bar, a crowded restaurant, or something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Soundpeats Free 2 Classic in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy bar, a crowded restaurant, or something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. As always, you can be the judge of the microphone quality down in the comment section. Now, my sample of the Soundcore A20i were purchased by me with my own money. There was no monetary compensation involved, and Soundcore were not afforded any copy approval or early access to this video prior to being published, obviously, because we are doing this live. Now, I'm telling you this because I believe in transparency with you as a viewer. As always, please be sure to watch multiple reviews before making that final purchase decision. If you're looking for another review on this brand new product, check out my guy, Rich Music Tech Reviews. I know he just dropped a video on these a couple days ago, so make sure you go over there and check out his review. Now, if you're interested in seeing my tier list of all the true wireless earbuds I've tested up to date, check out the video that I'll leave for you right up here on the screen. With that said, my name is Hefe, and I'm out this bitch.